Hi everyone. Um, this is just a short midweek, a thought for the week as it were, and um, it's going to be the first of a number of, of these thoughts. Um, I'm, I've been picked to be the person to kick everything off, um, or reinstate or reinstitute these uh, things that we actually started at the beginning of lockdown. So let's, without more ado, let's get straight into what I just want to share today. Lockdown, that word itself um, really is the heart of um, something that's happened in society that has totally changed uh, the way we're doing life. Um, it's unexpected um, and it's really big uh, and it's had real, real effects um, on us all. Uh, and nobody could have predicted it. Um, change is actually always happening. There's never been a time when uh, there hasn't been change, but really in a sense of from the beginning of the 20th century, you could argue, and on into this one, um, that it's as if that change has been accelerating and um, just moving at a pace that nobody in prior centuries would have would have would have even guessed was possible and so we live in the, in this place of change in in fact um uh somewhat humorously somebody said constant change is here to stay but it is true um that things do not stand still and the pace of change has accelerated even if COVID hadn't come along. So the question for us is, how do we live in that place? When I was young, we used to sing a song, um, yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never. Glory to his name. It actually meant a lot to me, but it didn't mean that things around weren't changing, but there was a constant source of stability there was a place where we could stand on this firm rock we could stand in, in the sure knowledge that there were some steadfast things about God things that would remain through all the changes through whatever as some people say life throws at you through whatever happens there is a place of stability for us in the Lord, in our relationship with him, in our walk with him. But I also want to add that there's, in this time of change, we need to be um, connected with the Lord and hearing him. And I just want to give one pointer as to a, a attitude of heart that we need to have to, um, to hear him for ourselves more clearly and it's reflected in these verses Luke 10 21 at that time Jesus full of joy through the Holy Spirit said I praise you Father Lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children yes Father for this was your good pleasure if we are going to stand strong in these times where everything around us seems to be changing and shifting we need to be in that active connection with the Father with a childlike faith and a childlike trust in Him and that is the source of the knowledge that will sustain us because we need to stand in the truth those things that don't change as we negotiate change. So that's the heart of what I want to say. Approach the Lord with humility, not coming to him for revelation in order to amass knowledge, but in order to know him better and in knowing him better to know how to be in these times. Thank you for listening.